You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're going to be talking about an individual who is suing because of the surgery they did on here. I'll save you guys some of the reading, but I will read a little bit for you. I know y'all love my reading voice. I hear it all the time. So here we have Soren Adako. I hope I said that right. Uh-uh. The operation left her nipples literally peeling off her chest and she will not be able to breastfeed. It may be infertile, it is claimed. The hormone shots left her with a damaged vagina and other problems. When the girl was 17, she had this beautiful surgery right here. And the surgery ended up leading these pools of blood all around her chest. And like we said before, her nipples were peeling off. So she decided she's going to go ahead and sue these people. As you can see here, Alduco, Alduco f uh, filed her suit in her county, Texas. On Friday, she seeks a jury in trial for more than $1 million in damages. Now, I bet you're wondering, how can she sue? Didn't she want this? Well, she was a young woman, and what she ended up doing was going to these guys. I'll leave this up here for you guys to read. What she ended up doing is going to this clinic and saying, hey, you know what? <clears throat> After a medic episode, she was treated by uh, Dr. Nikopu. I don't know how to say the name, I'm sorry, at Mesa, Mesa Springs Psychiatric Hospital, where the psychiatric, 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 man, these words, allegedly coerced and pressured the 15-year-old into coming out as trans. Soon after, she attended a support group for trans youth in Fort Worth called Trans Considered International in 2019, where she met Perry. Perry had a reputation as the guy who prescribed testosterone upon request, it is claimed. After a 30-minute appointment, at Perry's office in January 2020, the nurse practitioner prescribed her an outrageously large off-label doses of testosterone and another drug to block her estrogen. And this is what led to all the damage and led to all the stuff in her vagina. And now she could possibly be infertile. Remember, 15 years old. I'm so glad we don't have anything like that around here because I'm the type of guy, I would show up to these meetings. I'm not an argumentative. I, oh, wow. Well. I can't be argumentative. I won't lie to you guys. But I wouldn't go in there to cause no problem. I'm not the guy to just go up there and be like, oh, I'm just going to destroy this whole place. Like some people do. What I would do is I would show up to one of these meetings and I would just listen. I would just listen. You see, I'm the kind of guy who loves to soak in a lot of information, right? I just listen. I sit back. I read. I do a lot of reading. I soak it up and I would just wait. Y'all notice I don't make videos on people until far later after stuff has started happening. We just talked about Doja Cat. I didn't say a word about Doja, even though I knew a long time she was starting to crack. I waited till now. I try to listen, just see what's going on and see how it pans out. And that's what I would have did with that meeting. That's a little just me being off topic. I just wonder, I would have gone to that meeting for the trans kids and just listen. Just sat back. Just said, and I said a word. I would have left and said goodbye. I would have asked people questions. Be like, oh, that's how you feel? Okay, interesting. Hey, hey, right, you guys have a good night. I would think it was evil and I would think there was something wrong with it. But you don't fight your battles. You don't always go in guns blazing. You have to listen to the people who are trying to hurt your kids. You have to listen to the enemy. You have to learn this stuff. And I think what people do these days, they get so caught up in trying to fight the fight that they don't sit back and see like, well, I can't just fight it this way. I have to be able to beat these talking points because they're going to keep coming up. Anyway, back to this young ladies. Um, this is what I talked about before when it comes to these young kids. That's the reason that sometimes I play the song, you know, Can We Just Talk by Khalid, right? Obviously, me and him have dis disagreements as well, but can we just talk? This man was so quick to give this young lady testosterone, do a surgery on him to where she was filling blood up in her chest while she was young and her nippers are not pulling off and now she can't breastfeed and she might have been infertile. All because they refuse to even have a conversation. Why do they do this, people? We keep talking about this. Why do they just give people these pills? It's not always because they want to be like, oh, because we want people to love is love. And we think the kids will take their lives if they do all that. That's what they use to say that kind of stuff. That's how they get their stuff pushed forward. But really, at the end of the day, this man is going to give this girl testosterone pills. But who's going to pay for that? Oh, yeah, exactly. He's going to get paid giving out these testosterone pills. He's going to get paid doing these surgeries. He's going to get paid for all this stuff that goes wrong with these people. And they're going to have to, they're going to have to come back, right? If they trust you, they'll have to come back and get all this stuff fixed. And they'll keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. And guess what? Ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Even if the insurance company is paying for some of this, it doesn't matter. Their pocketbooks are still getting filled up. And when you create trans people like this, this woman who is possibly infertile, do you think that's going to make her love life easier? Do you think she's going to be able to get married now? She could possibly get married, but is she going to be able to build a family? She's going to have to get to go through adoption. I'm sorry to tell you guys, and this is just a harsh truth. You're going to have now she has to go find a man who's willing to deal with the trauma she's dealt with. 
She's going to have to go find a man who's willing to not have biological kids with her and adopt. That has lowered her her dating pool. It's going to make it harder for her to ever build a family of her own. She's going to have to find somebody who's willing to adopt, right? And if she adopts by herself, you're putting the kids at risk because that's a single parent home. That's all I'm saying. It is a, even if this is, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they have almost succeeded. They've ruined the family already. She hasn't even started her own family. Now it's going to be hard for her to even start a family. That's the point of these surgeries, man. It's not just to get money. It's to break up the family. Can't y'all see that? The more people they create with these surgeries like this that can't have kids or any of this kind of stuff and they just fall into a deep depression, they don't want to have families, nor can they have one of their own. They can always adopt, and I suggest you can do that. But these people are unstable after all this stuff. Imagine having your body parts cut off. How hard is it going to be for you to raise a kid happily? You're going to be living life so bitter. You're going to be mentally unstable for a long time. You probably have to go through years of therapy. That's what I'm saying. It just creates less and less families. And the more single people you get, the more control you'll have, the more money those people spend. Breaking up the family is the end result of all this stuff, all this surgery, even pushing the LGB and the LGBTQ, whoever wants to still claim that. Pushing these agendas as much as you want to, it just destroys more and more family. It is destroying the family unit. And we know what happens when the family unit falls apart. Let me know what y'all think about this story. I wish this person all the best. Sorry this happened to you, and I'm sorry we weren't there to be able to protect you. But we can still continue to do this, guys. Keep supporting people who are against having these surgeries on kids. Let these kids live their life. I'm out of here. Goodbye.